Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because we find ourselves in the pruning and cutting section of B&Q in search of a new pair of handlebars. I've got a stem here that I'm going to take apart and we're going to just see if we can find a strong bit of wood to use as a handlebar. With that we can sort of... No. No. No, well, we don't metal. They're just a little bit too big though. The pruning and cutting section isn't it? Digging, weeding and planting. Little bit too... Oh, the sacrificer. Oh my sacrifice, that is actually perfect. Yeah, that's 100% gonna fit. Let's take the sacrificer to the till then, look. Oh, scarificator, but anyway, sacrificer sounds way cooler. Cool, cheers then. There we go, sacrificer purchased. Let's cut it up and fit it on the jump bike. We just rushed home quick then, so we're gonna fit these new sustainable handlebars onto my jump bike, and hopefully they don't snap instantly, because that would actually suck. So we're gonna take off the old title bars here. Boom, don't need them. There we go, simples. Now we wanna just check that this new handlebar is gonna fit. Oh, it is literally made for it. So what I wanna do straight away then is just get it bolted on there, even though we've got all of the, the actual tool is still on there, the actual sacrificer. Right, that's on then keep that leaned up I'll get the old bar and I think we'll go just a touch smaller maybe an inch off that side and then about an inch off that side and there we have it a fresh pair of handlebars this is gonna be the best day ever wooden bars yes let's go and shred it then <laughs> we're now at the first test ground of the wooden handlebars this is a cool little concrete bowl this is silver and scope first maneuver it looks like quite a good fly out there let's get a little 180 out 180 wooden bars Wow, this is going to be an amazing day. I can already feel it. We are so sustainable right now. I mean, they feel like they're going to last. Just please don't snap though. Let's get a little bar spin out then as the next thing. Oh. <laughs> Wooden bar spin. Well, that was awesome. Let's mix them both together with a 180 bar spin in the same location. <laughs> they actually bar so well. That feels, feels amazing. Let's get a 360 out of there. Yes, easy. Let's try a little, oh yeah, drop in Manny out of that little bit there. I think I could do a bar, ma Manny bar out of that little end bit there. Here we go. <laughs> wow. The only thing that feels super weird, ow, is because uh, my title bars were like, they almost feel like they were like this compared and a bit further back, so the positioning's really weird. But I'm so surprised they're working that well. That's unbelievable. 30 quid for a pair of sustainable bars. I mean, why not? Let's get foot plant over the spine, foot jam on that corner there. <laughs> I kind of feel dangerous. On a 180, that spine. <laughs> yes. Oh, the brakeless bit now is the scarier thing about it. 
It's not even the fact that I've got wooden bars. Let me do a little tuck. Now I'll tuck out here where you are, and if it works, I'll drop in and then tuck the jump box. Yeah! Wow! It come around so fast at the end then. <laughs> like, weird, with the lower bar, it seemed to come around quicker. It's kind of like a scooter bar actually, isn't it? Dead straight. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Works so well. We've stomped out some bangers already in this park. That has been well fun. I want to do a little finale tabes out of that hip there and then we'll move on. So let's just crank that in Salomes. Oh, that was pretty good. Like with the positioning of the bars, it's quite hard to get it like inverted, but I mean, I've got a piece of wood as a handlebar and it's working that well. Let's move on already. Find another location to shred even more, come on. We've now come to this pump track to do a few gibberoonies and I want to start off on that back straight with a full length mani. Let's. Oh. 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 Here we go, in with the mani challenge. Oh. Now what I want to do is bar the first table and then the second one. Oh. Three. Quite hard to get speed on there. I'm pumped with that Manny though. I think we already get out of here, find some more fun stuff to hit. We decided to quickly stop by at Chelmsford Skate Park. I actually have my sights set on a flare. Bit ridiculous. Let's go into the Mini there and see what's possible. We're parked quite illegally. We don't have much time. This is terrifying and it's a bit wet. Let me just try a few airs and see how it feels. That's the section for it. Oh, are they gonna like snap when I pull though? That's the thing. So gnarly. Like unnecessary, unnecessary gnarliness, you know? Like it's just a flare. But if the bars snap, you die. I'll flare that side then. Let me do a couple of back and forth just to get into it. Okay. fear actually landed let's get in the illegally parked van and get out of here come on that was amazing it would be rude not to do a stair set of doom with wooden bars wouldn't it oh so smooth like little flat ground bars oh dreamy oh we could actually do a little trials bit here. Oh, no, I quite like these bars like that. Just dead flatties. It's probably why the slope style guys have low and flat bars. It does actually feel quite controllable. Did someone say big 180 to flat over here? No? Oh, here we go. Oh, that's getting a bit scary when you're landing that heavy to flat with these. It sounded a bit creaky. Hmm, it gets a bit scary when it's like that. Oh well, let's carry on. We've now just come into the local woods where you can continue testing out the strength of my new wooden bars. I'm actually really, really into how they look. So cool, so natural, it's just epic. There's a little set of dirt jumps there, three in a row. Let's just get like a cruiser through them as a warm up and then the big classic step up. Trapping. Oh, 
<laughs> right, we've warmed up a bit now. Let's go and see what that big step up's all about. We have ridden this jump a lot of times, but not with wooden bars. I did want to flip it. Standing here now, a bit more scared because I'm going to have more speed into it. And that means I'm going to have to pull harder. If, Like I said with the flare, if they snap on the takeoff, life ending stuff. Let me just try and clear it first. Oh, way easier to jump than with the duct tape tires the other day. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, oh, couldn't even clear that. I went miles then. Okay, let's start. Let's start a bit easier. I've got no brake. Feels weird. Let me three it. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Oh, horrible. I hate 360s with no brake. Just because if you did land a bit back wheel heavy and started to loop, nothing you can do. That's when you have the worst slams when you can't stop yourself from looping out. Let me know if it can with these bars. And then we'll ramp up for the... Uh, the big finale. Oh. Yes. Bit of a case then though. How long are these gonna last? Oh, they feel good. I don't wanna keep doing cases and stuff though. I think I'm more scared about having no brake on to be honest. Feels so strange. All right. We came here for the flip. Let's deliver the flip. Let's make history happen. Oh. Wow. Oh. That was terrifying. Oh my God. That's like going back to the unnecessary gnarliness I was saying about. Ooh. Well, I'm not that scared, but that was actually really, really terrifying. Just not knowing whether that's gonna, wait. It's not even done up. Look at that, Lou. Ready? Can you see that though? Probably not, I'm moving it too much. Look. Mm. I didn't want to tighten it up earlier, did I? Because of the, I didn't want to crush the wood. But in doing so, it means I haven't even done my stem up. That's horrible. I'm so surprised how well they worked. I got to the point where I was so confident they weren't gonna break that I was ending up doing flips and 360s and stuff, but there must be a breaking point for them. I don't think I wanna find that today. Maybe in the future, then I might need a full face and a chest protector. But I think the next thing I wanna do would be maybe fit this sort of thing on like a downhill bike and then go to a bike park and ride some trails. I mean, you guys let me know, what do you wanna see with the wooden handlebars or is it just too, too edge of your seat danger for you? Cause these could snap at any moment. And then we thought about it, if it did snap, it would probably leave a shard, wouldn't it? And imagine you just, let's not think about it. So on that bombshell of absolute danger, wooden bars, skate park action and fun, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and we particularly subscribe. See you in the next one.